Yo yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to a brand new league racing video. This is round number 6 of PSGL on the highest tier in PC. Uh, full of F1 Esports drivers. Today we're driving around one of my favorite tracks in F1. It's Jeddah. Uh, super high speed first sector. One of my favorite sectors. I think actually it might be my favorite sector in Formula 1. Uh, Jeddah Sector 1. And yeah, as you can see, round number six, this was a mystery track, so no one got to practice for this. And everyone just got thrown into the deep end for this track. Um, not an easy track to get onto without any practice. Uh, and as you can see, we're leading the championship by eight points, heading into round number six. Five rounds to go if you include this one, and we're only eight points ahead of Thomas in P2. So uh, out for our first Q1 run. Uh, some people went for a kind of test lap, uh, did out and started pushing but came in uh, and yeah, that means they're gonna have to use three sets of tires in Q1 and yeah, if you're not confident on this track then that makes sense to do, uh, however I felt like I could do pretty well. There was um, a PSGL E-Series race around here one and a half month ago or a month ago and yeah, that's basically a team championship for F1 esports teams are almost F1 esports team uh, or like community teams and yeah we did not participate in that so the people who did participate in that have a bit of an advantage um, but yeah that's that's the challenge you know um, and yeah it's gonna be a little bit hard to beat them in qualifying today but uh, three DRS zones around here and that makes for a very very interesting race around here into turn one we go breaking at 100 meters, yellow flags for a slow moving car on the inside as we shift down to third gear. A little bit early on the brakes, a little bit late on initial throttle there. And that's just getting used to the track. Um, we have to build this one up because, yeah, last time I drove this track was, well, I think almost six months ago, uh, five months ago, at least competitively. Of course, did some uh, open lobbies around here, but yeah, setups are not quite up to date. Uh, driving is not quite up to date around here as well um, and yeah this first lap is just about yeah kind of a warm-up before we go into our last Q1 lap because we definitely gonna need another one after this one uh, Ulas Ozildirim one of the drivers that did the PSGL E-Series goes to P1 um, I think there are actually around 10 drivers who participated in that to, uh, that are driving today uh, as I go completely wide into that fast left and a lot of understeer uh, that I picked up there. I changed the setup quite a lot from what I used to run in um, PSGL five months ago uh, and that's because I know what to change. Um, of course it might not be completely spot on but yeah we have to take some risks because running that setup is not gonna work as well and yeah we're four tenths of P1 and a lot of the time was lost uh, in this next left hand, you can see we're already two and a half tenths up, but yeah, we just gained another two tenths by actually hitting the apex that time, a lot less on this tier. Um, but still, the car didn't turn well there, I'm not sure why. Um, I felt like I could have gone another tenth quicker if the car actually turned well. And for some reason, the balance was great throughout the whole track, but it was just that one particular corner where I picked up so much on this tier. It just killed my confidence so much to there, but we got P4 um, and yeah, easily into Q2 as yes, uh, Freddy Rasmussen, one of our main threats in basically every race and every competition, had a qualifying ban. Uh, I'm not sure why, but uh, I think it might have been from an incident in Montreal. Just keep moving like two or three times. Something before, I'm not sure, but yeah, first new tire and done. 126 176 and it was only like a 700 improvement to used tires again great pace on used tires and not so great on new tires and it's again same as all the previous races i just pick up so much under there on new tires and i don't know what to do about it um i'm just much more confident on used tires and yeah at the moment we are out in Q2 because we have to improve a lot to make it into Q3. That first sector was amazing though. 
uh, that was close to being purple for sure. Um, but that's also one of my favorite uh, sectors. Um, but this lap so far has been quite clean. There's a lot to gain in this next left-hander again. Uh, because on my previous lap it was horrible. But we're going to have to nail it if we want to make it into Q3 for sure. Into the next left-hander again. Just not great. Car not turning. And yeah, that probably lost me around two tenths. But nonetheless, we actually gained to our delta. And that don't shows get that corner. I just always under the throw. And yeah, no as, as you can even say, uh, uh, no confidence there. The balance is great everywhere on the track. But going through there, there's just so much under steering. We're out, right? And yeah, as you can even say, we are out in Q2. We need it. Uh, I, I don't more. get it. That's cool. That one corner, I've got so much under there. Um, yeah, P11 it is for Q2. Um, I think the only people who made it into Q3 that did not do PSU E series were Jake, Tom Manley, and Philip Preitschneider. Uh, I think everyone else did PSU E series. Maybe Otis didn't, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah. Not, not too bad. P11 on Jeddah. Uh, three DRS zone. So that's going to help us in the race a little bit. And yeah, we're going to go back to our traditional alternative strategy. We're going to be starting on the hearts. Yeah. This is territory we are confident in. <laughs> a hard compound. Tires as a starting tire. And then moving on to the mediums. You can move on to the softs as well. Basically every strategy is possible around here. But we're going to be going... Onto the hearts. We got Philip Preisnader on our left on the hearts as well. But a lot of soft runners around us. Um, Ula Zildrim on the softs ahead of us. Two medium runners behind us. It's going to be five red lights. And away we go. We actually get a terrible launch of the line. A lot of wheel spin on those hearts. You can see someone jumping down the inside immediately of the line. But he had to back off. As he did not want to make it three wide into turn one. Struggling for traction once again out of turn two as we've got Alvaro sending it down the inside yeah, way over. too late um, and yeah that's straight away a lot of cars out there um, as Alvaro spun around I think yeah I'm not sure if he actually took someone with him um, but he did the same as Ishmael P8 on hard as well he did the same as what I did um, not just last week in PSL in Barcelona, but also in WR around here on F122, I made the exact same mistake, uh, outbreaking myself for the tight left-hander, went into someone, I did not spin though, I just completely took out uh, Chan Akinsi, um, who, uh, yeah, I don't see Chan as much anymore in, in league racing on F1 games, but I came across him on DTM Esports uh, last week, so he's still very much active in the sim racing community as we got Luke Smith behind us bum drafting oh my a bit um, yeah not sure if he wants a bum draft or he wasn't sure what way to go it is a bit of an awkward racing line of course when you have to overtake someone but we're gonna go on the attack uh, the classic going in the attack to defend here into turn one we go down the inside and up to P10 and we've actually gained a position here on the opening lap even though we started on the hearts um, of course Alvaro his incident helped a little bit with that um, but yeah that's great news for our race because if you start on the hearts you expect to lose at least a position maybe two maybe three but we've actually managed to gain a position and that is yeah great news for our race uh, we actually have to push quite a bit to stay in the DRS because this entire train is just soft runners out of us apart from Ismail Fassi our uh, championship rival in WR. Uh, he got past Ulas as those softs are starting to drop off. Uh, I expect a lot of those guys to the soft mediums, which yeah, should be the fastest strategy. But something being the fastest strategy on paper does not mean it's going to be the fastest strategy um, practically. Uh, so Ulas is going to dive into the box and he is the going early? very early. That's one lap earlier than last time in PSG. Okay. He is very early going into the box for a new set of mediums. It is possible to make it to the end, but it is a long stint. And yeah, he is going to have a very bad tyres towards the end. And we're going to be doing the exact opposite. We're going long, uh, very long into this race. Overcut, or not an overcut, but 
uh, we're going long. Let everyone undercut us and then have fresh tires towards the end. And if there's a late safety car, that's going to help us a lot. Uh, as there's some squibbling going up front between Otis, Thomas and Thomas Kahl. Um, they are going side by side and you can see Thomas going really wide there actually. Um, mm -hmm. He's trying there. to keep track position from Thomas Kahl. Uh, all those software is starting to struggle with the tires, of course, as Thomas hits the wall quite hard, actually, on that exit. I'm not sure if Otis he actually has wing just damage. just inside the RS. Um, right. As you can hear my engineer say, Otis is just about uh, staying in the DRS. He actually made a massive mistake in the S section in Sector 1, and that's what caused him to drop back. But you can see Thomas really struggling here with pace. Um, and it looks like he actually might have some front wing damage. So we're going to have a little look down the inside. Um, staying away though, because if he has front wing damage, he has to box. And I don't want to be in the inside when someone has to box. Because that's just going to cause confusion. And yeah, could cause an incident. Even though it would not be my fault. We have to keep that in mind, of course. So yeah. We, um, we did not go for a move there into the final corner, up to P6. Uh, it's not an actual P6 though, because all those people are going for the undercut and they will be ahead of us if we would box as well. So Where is Tom Manley on? Not soft. Um, bit more people boxing. Tom Manley though, only soft runners still out on track uh, on those softs. And he's going to be struggling relative to our hard tires. Um, yeah, we're going to be catching up slowly. Lap 11. Uh, we're gonna try and get past him here now. I expected him to box, but he did not. Why? His blood staying out. <laughs> yeah, as you can even say, I was very confused why he stayed out because uh, we <laughs> we lost a lot of time because of it because he was ahead in the cornering part. You can see he's struggling like crazy now. And he must have lost so much track position here, but it's a similar strategy to us, to be honest. Uh, he's still with us, and that means, yeah, uh, he actually made a huge mistake there. And I could have gone to the inside there, but as I said a few laps ago, that would have caused an incident, probably, uh, which I did not want. We're going to go on the attack on Ismail Fassi. Not really on the attack, though. We're just swapping positions here. Um, so, yeah. We are just going to be de there, you would have been fucked. We're just going to be de yeah. each other. Ishmael 78 exit. Um, and yeah, helping each other. Uh, we are championship rivals in WR, of course, but not here in PSL. We'll and time. every single lap, we're just going to be passing each other. And that's what we did uh, to help our overall pace slightly. Um, however, end of lap 15, we're going to be boxing for a sprint to the end. 10 laps on a set of mediums. They will easily make that. We're going to be on the same tires as everyone who have boxed from soft. But they're going to be a lot fresher. And this is just qualifying laps. Ten qualifying laps straight. Uh, Luke and Shanaka on soft. Uh, Thomas Gal, five lap old tires. Uh, six, actually. Yeah, both me and Ismail are going to have a big job at our hands here to try and get back up to the podium positions. Um, you can see how far we've come out behind everyone. Uh, all the lead cars are already well in the S section. Actually heading into the final corner of Sector 1 now. And yeah, we're nowhere close. Thomas Gow actually right ahead of us. He must have damage yeah, because you can sure. see how much he's losing. Um, nonetheless, he's also on all tires. So yeah, you can see his front left wing end plate gone. And yeah, he decided to pull out of the fight, not to hold us up, um, because his race is done. He's just hoping for a safety car at this point. Um, and yeah, uh, I think he actually might stay out, just as I said, hope for a safety car. And now we are two seconds behind Philip Preach here. We're going to let Ismail go. Um, and again, just start swapping to catch up to the rest of the grid. We can start fighting each other later, but at the moment we're on the same strategy and we have to catch up if we want to get a good result. Next straight, once again, we are getting past these now. And yeah, not sure if you wanted to get past again on the next straight because with a lot of straight line speed, so I used a bit of my battery 
Um, but yeah, as you can see, I was looking behind to check oh, if he was strong. using as well. Um, but yeah, he wanted to get past again, and that's why we stopped using once I noticed. Um, but yeah, use our ERS a little bit inefficient there. Um, but yeah, that happens. Um, we did not defend there, did not want to battle uh, Ismail into turn one. And now, lap 18, um, we're gonna get past Ulas on those very, very old mediums. He did not manage to keep track position and yeah, just dropped like a stone through the field. Uh, I think he got an incident with his teammate Alfie as well, which made Nine. him lose like another three seconds. Um, so yeah, that, uh, that was his race done and dusted. And yeah, that's good news for us though, because that's a free position for us. Thomas had his wing changed. Thomas, 33%, no DRS. Cost him a lot uh, of lap time, of course. Five seconds to change your wing, and we're gonna go down the inside into the final corner. As Thomas had no uh, DRS, he's also on a lot worse tires. And now we're gonna repass Ismail into turn one. Uh, we've got a lot more battery. As you can hear our engineers say, Thomas had no ERS as well, 30%. So uh, his race seems to be quite done as well. Not really fighting for any podium position. Maybe like one point, depending uh, on penalties. But uh, Alvaro setting the fastest lap of the race now. 27.9. We're not focusing on that. We just need to get positions as we got Alfie ahead of us now. I'm going to try and not uh, drive into his inside Alfie this time. Alfie 35, box lap 9. And outbreak ourselves. Uh, but yeah, we are a lot more focused now as the hunt is on. Um, we got DRS on the next raid. Alfie should be just about getting DRS as well. But we've got a lot of battery and a lot of fresh tires. So we're going to turn on the overtake button here, get in the slipstream and turn on the DRS. And this is going to be an easy peasy pass into the next left hander. I haven't really had any issues in the race with this left hander. And yeah, it doesn't make sense why, because the car is a lot heavier on all the tires, but we get back to that part, the being on used tires, uh, the car just turns better for me, for some reason. I don't know, there's not really any logic behind it, uh, it could be placebo, but I just feel a lot more comfortable on used tires on this game, um, and that left-hander is living proof of it. And uh, now, up to P8, uh, right behind Philip Preitschneider. And at the end of this lap, we still have five laps to go. Um, a lot of people ahead of us are going to be struggling on tires. Uh, Shanaka, Clay and Luke Smith are not one of them though. They boxed one lap before us, went to the softs. So actually they might be struggling on the last lap, but at the moment they still get very good pace. And it's not going to be easy passing them. Um, Tom Manley, of course, also on relatively fresh mediums. Shanaka They're going to be... 14, 45%. They're going to be relatively hard to pass. And then the leaders box relatively early to us so um, they're gonna be easier to pass Shanaka defending really well from us we go around the outside he leaves us the space and we're gonna turn on the overtake button again opening the DRS into turn one tucking in the slipstream of Tom Manley we're gonna send him down the inside purple last sector for us and into turn one here we go up to P5 five laps to go we need to uh, pick them up one by one now we've got time a little bit low on ERS but we recharge quite fast rounds anyway in, in the DRS, um, especially being behind cars on all the tires. Now, as I said, Luke will be the last car that's going to be relatively hard to overtake. And we managed to get the move on into the fast left-hander. One of my favorite points to overtake this race. And ideally, we get past these guys straight away. And Top maybe... Top three box lap 10. Yeah, pull so off into laps. distance. Uh, and yeah... Yep. Five lap tire delta, as you can hear me or hear my engineer say, as Otis is oh trying to find his way through. It actually went three wide for a second there, as I desperately tried to uh, stay out J24 of an incident. 24 exit, Otis 40 exit. And yeah, now we go on the attack into turn one. It's going to be three wide though, and yeah, just no way past, unfortunately. And we wasted a bit of ERS there, but. Yeah, just need to get past ASAP, really, because we are on so much fresh tires that we can perhaps break the DRS um, if all goes to plan. So, next lap, once again, we're going to go on the attack on East Van Pukki and Otis Lawrence. You can see the pace advantage we have on the straight. We're going to go around the outside into the final corner. You can see 
the pace advantage we have relatively to Jake into the final corner with the help of DRS. And Jake's gonna be oh a sitting God. duck on the next raid. We're gonna activate the ERS, activate the DRS, and into turn one. You can see how much overspeed we're gonna have. We're gonna go into the lead. Jake is a sitting duck in the middle. We've got East on our inside, and we go around the outside into turn two. It turns into the inside and up to the lead we go, but three laps remaining and we're really low on battery, so it's crucial that we're gonna be as fast as possible through every single corner, uh, extend our gap and then force everyone behind us to use some ERS because each one is on 75% ERS, as you can hear in a second. Right, I'm gonna, how am I gonna recharge 75%? What's this one? 75. Yeah, as you can hear there, into the final lap of the race, Isfan has 75% ERS, we have 35% ERS, and we're gonna need some magic on this final lap. We are 40% down on battery, the only advantage we have is the tires, and you can see Isfan gaining into turn one, and very smart from him, he's staying behind for those last DRS zones, because he knows that that is his only chance of winning, because we are gonna be right on him if he would pass us. We're gonna be right on his gearbox through the entire lap, and it's gonna be an easy DRS pass if he would overtake us. And you can see I'm pushing as hard as I can through every single corner. Backend wants to step out. It's very lively as it, our tires are starting to drop away as well, of course, but you can see the gap we're pulling through the corners. 42% ERS, and we're gonna be saving it all for that last sector because East One will be staying behind us until that last sector and that's when the ERS floodgates open and it's gonna be a drag race from one DRS zone to the other so Ismail Fassi P3 he is the next threat Ismail 30 Isfan 70 using behind Isfan because he is on fresh tires he's gonna be right on the gearbox of Isfan and also getting DRS uh, however he is slightly lower on ERS though as you can hear my engineer say Isfan is still the main threat in this race. He's gonna open the DRS. We're gonna defend with all we have into the final corner. You can see the overspeed he has into the final corner. We're gonna be breaking slightly early for the DRS detection though. As we go to the final corner, we're gonna be getting a little bit low on ERS. However, we broke early and we're gonna get DRS up to the line. It's gonna be a drag race up to the line and we yes! just managed oh! to get him by five one thousandths of a second. <sighs> We snatched away GG. the win from each one, and what a race it was! From P11 on the grid, all the way up to P1, uh, winning by five one thousands. Ismail only 83 one thousands behind as well. Crazy race, getting 16 points um, in the championship, uh, especially after last week. It feels like a little bit of redemption after the penalty. Um, so yeah. Yeah, I just really want to win this one. One of my favorite tracks, and yeah, what a what a what a last lap, what a last sector. Five one thousandths of a second uh, might actually be the closest um, win margin in PSGL history. Five one thousandths, um, absolutely crazy margin. Um, but yeah. <laughs> we managed to pull it off 16 points crucially in the championship um, we extend it i'm not sure where thomas ended up i think he might have ended up in p9 after all penalties uh, otis got a 10 second penalty for an incident with luke smith so yeah i think thomas got two points there so we extend our championship lead by 14 points probably and yeah great race insane last lap insane race in general uh, very exciting one I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Make sure to like and subscribe for more league racing content. And see you guys next time. Ciao. Yeah, yeah, yeah.